Welcome back to Ashwood Urban Homestead. Right now, what we are looking at, these are actually a mixture of blueberry tomatoes and sunberry tomatoes. And I got them um, from Wild Boy Farms. And I am so in love with these plants. Okay, these have been planted in my garden for a week. Now, I am not kidding when I say these seeds were started three weeks ago and they're actually buried fairly deeply i planted them up to the first leaves um and they are doing so well it has been rainy it has been sad it has been cold in the 60s at night and then suddenly 85 and these guys are troopers this one's pretty small compared to the other ones um, based off of the really dark stem here, I would definitely say that this is a blueberry tomato because they are a lot darker. Even the tomatoes, they are a red cherry tomato and then the tops of them where they touch the sun turn really dark. Um, and they are just incredibly sweet and really high producers. So I wanted some for myself to dehydrate and make kind of a, a sweet treat. And maybe trick my kids and husband into eating tomatoes in things. Um, I planted a lot of them in these paper cups I made. Now this one, because it's been exposed to the non-stop three-week rain, it is completely falling apart. But look at those roots. It has an incredible root system. And again, based off of the dark leaves and the dark color of the sun, I would almost guarantee that this is another blue blueberry. Um, another blueberry cherry tomato. And I'm just, I cannot get enough of this beautiful tomato and just how well I can't, if I wouldn't have planted myself, there's no way that I would believe that this seed was planted three weeks ago. It didn't pop up three weeks ago. I literally put the seed in here three weeks ago. And so I am... I am beyond impressed. Now, as a general rule, I like to, I'm just going to use my hand. I like to plant my tomato plants about two feet apart. Um, that's just how I like to do it. I'll come back and usually I'll prune them, but that's not always the case. It just really depends on how I feel. And I'm just going to plant this in the hole. Usually the paper stays a together a lot better you really need to make sure that you let the the paper pots dry out in between waterings but these have been exposed to the elements they've been outside where it's been raining for almost three weeks straight with no end in sight and yet it's still doing really well and despite the unpredictable temperatures and despite the rain it it is not showing any signs of distress. It doesn't really have anything on it. Um, what is that? The, this leaf is a little tore. But that's basically it. I mean, there's no fungus, no anything. So I'm going to keep you updated on these little tomato plants and how they grow over the season. But I am so in love with these so far. So I highly recommend if you must have a tomato and you have the room to allow them to grow tall, really try out um, the sun gold and blueberry tomatoes from Wild Boar Farms. Now, I will say these are indeterminate tomatoes, um, so they're not going to stop growing. I've, I've seen people where they say, hey, these grew to be about... 10 feet in height. I've never grown them for myself. I really wanted to try them out last year and I bought the seeds, but with everything that happened between the pandemic and craziness in my own life, I just didn't get them planted. So I got them planted this year and I'm really excited to see if they really do produce um, a five gallon bucket of tomatoes between all of them. So let's see how it happens and I'll keep you updated. And I appreciate you joining in and checking out these little guys and I hope to see you next time.